Hello, my name is Reese Hunter, and today I'm going to teach you how to host your NFT minting website publicly. In a previous video, I taught you guys how to create a website where people can come and mint your NFTs, but nobody else could access it. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to host the website publicly. I also want to let you guys know that I've been working really hard on my own NFT project called the Freedom Fishies. The first of three collections in this project will be called the Employed Fishies, and they're going to have a ton of utility, including a free mint pass for all future collections, access to the DAO, and staking. So if you have any interest in that at all, I'm going to leave the links to the Discord, Twitter, and Instagram in the description of this video. So definitely check out those links to stay up to date with the project. Alright, that's enough talk, now let's get into how to host your NFT minting website publicly. Alright, so I'm going to start exactly where the last video left off. So the first thing you need to do is go to github.com, I'll leave a link in the description, and you're going to need to sign up for a new account, or sign in if you already have an account. Since I already have an account, I'm going to go ahead and sign in, and once you're signed in, you'll see a page like this. You're going to go over here and click create repository. You can name the repository whatever you want, I'm going to name mine test, and you're going to want to make it private so no one else can see the files, and click create repository. So now what we're going to do is click this right here, and that will copy this link, which we're going to use in just a minute. Now you're going to go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code, which you should have installed from the last video. Go to File, Open Folder, and you're going to select your Canyon Machine Mint folder, which we created in the last video. Once you have your project open, you're going to go ahead and go to Terminal, New Terminal, and in this terminal, you're going to type Yarn Build. And what this will do is generate the necessary files that you're going to need for deployment. Once that's done, you'll see it says done at the bottom here, and you'll see you now have a build folder. So what you want to do now is locate your Candy Machine Mint folder and copy this build folder over to your desktop. Now go back into Visual Studio Code, open folder, and you're going to open the build folder that you just dragged over to your desktop. Once you have the project open, we're going to go over here to source control. We're going to click initialize repository. And then you'll see something just like this. So you're going to hover over where it says changes and you'll see this plus mark appear. You're going to hit that, wait a little bit. And then once all the changes have moved to stage changes, you're going to go over here and click this check mark. This text box will pop up, enter in a period and hit enter. Now you will see everything has disappeared. So we're going to go to terminal, new terminal. And now we're going to type git push and then paste in the link that we copied earlier and hit enter. Once that's done, you'll see something like this. And then if you head back into your GitHub repository page and refresh it, we will now see that all of our files have transferred over. Now all we need to do is connect these files to something that will host them. And this is where Versal comes in. So head over to versal.com. I'll leave the link in the description of this video and log in if you have an account already. And if not, then hit sign up. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up and continue with GitHub. Now that I've signed in with my GitHub account, we will see that our repository that we created is now here. So just hit import, and then you'll be taken to this page where you can add team members if you have any. I don't, so I'm just going to hit skip, and then you'll see this configure project page. You can hit deploy. Once you hit deploy, it'll start going through all of these steps. And once it's done, congratulations, you just deployed your project to Versal. So now if you go to the dashboard, you will see this. So if you actually hit visit, then it'll take you to your actual website where you can connect your wallet and everything. Now, this is great since anyone can connect to this and mint from your website, but this is a weird domain name. I want to use my custom domain name that I purchased. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and I'm gonna go to settings and then domains. I'm gonna type in my domain here. So mine will be freedomfishies.com and click add. This pop-up will appear. You can just select the recommended one and hit add. So what it's telling us to do here is to create an A record on our DNS provider. So this next process will look different depending on what DNS provider you're using. I'm using Namecheap, but if you're using Google Domains or something else, then it's going to look slightly different, but the same general idea. So from my Namecheap dashboard, I'm going to select the domain that I'm using and hit manage. I'm going to go over to advanced DNS and I'm going to add new record and I'm going to select an A record. So now we need to fill in these values with what Versal has given us. So the type will be an A record, which we already selected. The name or host will be at. So let's change that here. And the value will be this. So I'm going to copy it and paste it here. Now we can hit this green check mark and we're done. 
Now if we go back into Versal and hit refresh, then we can see it's processing the changes that we've just made, so we're going to wait a little bit here. Alright, so now this is done. Freedomfishies.com will redirect to www.freedomfishies.com. But we haven't set anything for the www subdomain yet, so now we have to do a similar process, but for the www. So this is telling us to make a CNAME record with the name or host www, and the value should be this. So if we go back into our DNS, add new record, this one will be a CNAME record, the host will be www, and the target will be this. So hit the green check mark. Once that's all saved, go back into Versal, go over to the www, and hit refresh. The changes can take some time to apply, so if it takes a while, just wait like 10 minutes and then try again. Once that's done and everything is configured correctly, we can now go to freedomfishies.com and it will take us to our website without any issue. And now anyone can access this website and mint from it from anywhere in the world. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope I was able to help you out in one way or another. And if I did, consider liking and subscribing so that I know I should keep making more content. Also, remember to check out my Discord, Twitter, and Instagram links in the description of this video, and I will hopefully see you guys in another video.